Hi, I'm Steve Adubato. It is my honor to introduce a distinguished uh, academic who came to us from the University of Nebraska. He's here at NGIT now. He is Dr. Namas Chandra, and he's director of the Center for Injury, Biomechanics, and Materials and Medicine at NJIT, New Jersey Institute of Technology. Good to see you, doctor. Thank you very much, Steve. You know, we were talking right before we got on the air that uh, your center is focused on doing research in the area of traumatic brain injuries. All right? Let's put some things in perspective. Uh, the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control, report that there are 1.7 million traumatic brain injuries recorded annually. And you just told me before we got on the air, 3.7 million concussions every year mm -hmm. in the U.S. Right. What are you researching? We want to understand exactly how the brain injuries are caused, whether it can protect them, how to diagnose them if not protected, and come up with better medicines to treat them and look at the diagnostics value of the therapeutics as it goes along. Doctor, how complex? I know this is a simple question <laughs> to an incredibly complex issue. How complex is the brain? It is very complex. Brain is what we are, Steve. We are our brain. An injury to the brain just changes our personality and who we are. So we'll back up. An injury to the brain changes who we are. Correct. Make the case. Brain is basically our <coughs> CPU computer that operates every other part of our body. If there is an injury, it may impair our hearing abilities walking abilities and thinking abilities, all of our abilities are embedded in the brain. An injury to that, either in the serious or moderate form, still affects us, just not as the people around us, the society in general. So right before we got in the air, I asked you, what is the difference between a brain injury, you have a brain injury, and a traumatic brain injury? Is this a question of semantics? Yes and no, Steve. Trauma is any external injury that, uh, external mechanical load that causes injury, a football concussions, a fall, or uh, involved in automotive accidents, or for example, a soldier who is trying to protect us, involved in a blast, all of them are external traumas. The injury that is caused by trauma is traumatic brain injury. The ca injuries can also be caused by neurodegenerative diseases as we grow older, or other conditions like epilepsy, Alzheimer, and others. So traumatic brain injury is an injury that is preventable. It's preventable. Absolutely. Help us understand that. How is it preventable? Trauma is an event that happens and injures our brain. For example, if you're going in a car and get, get involved in an accident, what what are the ways in which you can at least mitigate the effect of those particular injuries is what, uh, what, what I mean by protection part. In, you are going in an automobile or, or motorcycle, whether you are wearing a helmet or not is something that is mitigatable or preventable. You are playing football, if it is whether you are wearing the right type of helmet, right type of rules and regulations, that at least if not preventable, at least mitigatable. So the question really is, they can okay, mitigatable meaning reducing the severity of the injury? Okay. Yes. So, but the research that you're doing at NGIT, is it about trying to understand how to treat traumatic brain injuries, or is it preventing or both? We first basically, like any universities, we are basically trying to understand the actual mechanism of injury. Suppose I go in an automobile and get involved by sudden braking or external car coming and hitting us. What causes this? How this is caused, both at the level of external surface and that level of surface of the brain itself, for example. Why do we need to know that? Um, that then tells you the connection between what the injury is and the medical outcome. If somebody is not able to walk, talk, think properly, or hearing properly, is there a connection between what the injury was and the event that caused those injuries? Now then we can go back to the question of preventing them by properly addressing what really originally caused those injuries. You describe your team. Who's there? In our team, we have medical scientists, 
physical scientists and engineers. We work very closely with uh, medical school. That is one of the reasons I actually came from Nebraska to here and mm. Rutgers Medical School. We also work with Kessler Rehabilitation Foundations where they are involved in trying to treat patients and recuperate the patients at least to a reasonable level after the injuries. The Kessler Rehabilitation Foundation, we are partners with them as well, it is fascinating. So you, when you work with Kessler, you take the research findings and share it with Kessler for what purpose? To have a better treatment a relationship between what they treat and how the treatment helps in, in a faster, better and a more efficient way to reset the brain back to the reasonable levels of the before the injury event. I'm curious about something, doctor. Um, when did you know and what triggered your fascination with the brain? Well, I have a personal story. My own brother was involved in an in a accident long back, 20, 30 years back. It did not just affect him, it affected him, his parents, which are my parents, and myself. It, it is very, very personal to people. When they get involved in TBI, and it is true with respect to individuals, soldiers, and others, it just affects them irreversibly, and there and then the families. And I think, if there is an opportunity, that I th the time is now because we have an ability to understand things that you could not because of our advances in engineering, advances in medicine, advances in imaging, and advances in other computational tools. So, as complex as the brain is, and difficult as it is to understand, you are saying there is more reason to be hopeful and optimistic because of the technology and the advances today more than ever before. Absolutely. And our hope is well placed. Well, we appreciate you and uh, your colleagues at NJIT and all the work you're doing every day on behalf of those who are struggling with uh, TBI, traumatic brain injuries, and, and those who are family members and, and those who care for them every day. Thank you, doctor. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Stay with us. We'll be right back right after this.